Hi everybody, we're back again for part three of our tags. So what I've done is, um, last time is we went, sewed around um, the tag and that, and all I've done is I've added pockets, a fabric pocket with a little dingle dangle, because you've got to have a dingle dangle and it just folds out so you get to see that. So it is a multi-purpose tag um and there's so much room that you could actually add a couple more tags it's completely up to you so you know it's it's a little bit extra so i'm not claiming that i am the first person to make these um i just thought i might as well do a video give you a bit of inspiration if you're stuck for ideas to fill your junk journals with so let's carry on making so what i've done is i've got these and i've actually gone over the back with some music paper because that's what i forgot to do before i done the sewing and done those all right so before you do the sewing and everything else just make sure you cover the back up not do what i did <laughs> So all we're going to do is we are going to get our page. Um, that was it here. Was that the page? Or was that it? There it is. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a page and then it will glue down onto the back. So we just cover it over like that and it glues down onto the back there. Um, I'm just going to tidy that up because that is atrocious cutting glue. It's not even straight. Just tidy it up. There. And then obviously it will sort of blend in with your other one. So you can move it just down a bit and it will still cover that bit. All right. So we're just going to do that. And I need some paper. Paper to dust down where's my duster so just using so if you've never seen my video before um any of my videos before um just do it using some stress oxide and this is a vintage photo so i'm actually going to treat myself to the different tones because um, I think they got, is it tea stain one? Tea stain one and a walnut one that I fancy treating myself to. So, I mean, it just makes that little bit of a difference, gives it a bit of an age. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get some paper to decorate the inside. So, let me get a piece. Sorry if I'm leaning over. So, and I hope... It's not gone all blurry like it did. I noticed that on the last video. So I'm just going to take this piece down. And then, hopefully that will fit on. Let's take that edge off. I really should have not put, done the video next. I should have actually had something to eat. Because I am starting to feel a little bit peckish. <laughs> starting to feel a little bit of peckish right okay so that will fit on there so we're just gonna do a bit of gluing so if you want you could actually use envelopes and have um, a couple of envelopes coming off I think if I've got time get a couple of envelopes do that as well or i might do that on the next video so we'll do all turn it um add an extra pockets okay so put that on there just flip it over make sure it's stuck down and just trim off excess with my oh, rubbish scissors so embarrassing 
I don't know for the life of me. I don't know what I've done with my other ones. I've used them and I've put them somewhere and I cannot. It's like what they say. You put sank in a safe place and that safe place is a place that you can't find. Yeah. Let's just take that bit off. There we go. And then we shall get a bit of lace, which I have here. No, that wasn't it. What have I done with my lace? Put it all somewhere safe. So I have it all at hand. Ah, I can see it. Spotted it. <laughs> so you can use any fabric. Um, I'm just fancying a little bit of lace. So I'm just going to do the pocket there. I mean, you could even, if we cut it off, why have things straight, eh? Why have things straight? So let's just cut that off there. And all I'm going to do is take the bottom off. And I'm just going to snip it at an angle. Like so. And then you get to see a bit more of that music paper. Oh, I like that. Right, so just going to put a little dab of fabric glue on there. Because you don't really need it to hold down too much because I'm going to go around with the sewing machine. Add that little bit of touch. Okay, so let's just put that there, just dab it down. I'm just going to let it dry for a second. Yeah, you have your little pocket there. And then you put that on that side. Actually, I would like to, I wonder if I can do it now with that there. Oh, yeah. Did it a little bit and this side so create a round edge okay so that will then sit on there like that but whilst it's drying um i will oh it's nearly dry actually I will get my machine together. Back in a sec. Oh yeah, all sorted. <laughs> Sorry. I had to quickly have something to eat because I started feeling a bit queasy. All right, so I'm just gonna get the same machine out. And just go around the edge of our little pockets. Let's put the foot plate in place. with it now oh done it too too far forward one more right turn around it one more time okay. and there we are off. Let me just turn that off a second. And 
then all we're going to do is, she says, put it there, and then glue the back. She says, <laughs> but what I'm going to do is, we're going to have a little secret pocket. Oh, Daisy snoring. Right, so I'm just going to hold that into place. Okay, and get my duster out. I'm just going to go around the edge. Like so, and then all I'm going to do is like I can see a little bit there, so I'm just gonna tidy that edge. There we go. So you've got one pocket there, and what we'll do is we will get a tag and just make a tag up. I'll stick some decorative bits on there and sew around the edge of this one. Okay. Oh, machine. <laughs> That was flying around in my garden then. That's it. Done. Let's tidy that off. Switch you off. Like so. Oops, oh, sorry. <laughs> and we would like an image for this. So it's have some of Tina's flowers. Want something little just to sit in the center. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly dust around the edge. Because obviously I just done kiss cut in. Get some glue on. Okay. 
that's it simple as that and then we're just gonna get some of our strand so I'm, like, oh, I'm gonna keep an ear out for the door because I've actually got a parcel coming I didn't think I was having a parcel today but I got the notification that it was coming so there's that one my little tag there and then we want some of our strand stuff so I'm just using this so I'm just keeping an eye out so don't I can press pause before hopefully before the doorbell goes <laughs> It's like a bit of multitasking going on here. So sorry if you can hear Daisy in the background. Obviously the walk done in the world of good. Still the same day for me. I'm doing a load of videos today. So this is video three. No, video four. So I've got one more to do. There we go. So and then obviously we want some little dangles. We've got our red dangles, haven't we? Wouldn't be the same otherwise. It's all I'm doing is getting one of these. I cut a load of these out and just added a bit of um, staining around the edge. And then I am just going to get one sequin, two sequins. And a little bead. So if you didn't know what to do with your sequins, <laughs> this is an idea. Okay. Just clip it onto there. Ooh. There we go. So there is your pocket. And then obviously you open it out and you can do whatever you want. You can put a little sentiment there. But just perfect. That's what we like. Perfection. <laughs> I would say it's perfection. Right, okay, so we get on to the next one. And what did I do with our paper? Okay, so I'm going to take it down from there. Oh, I like this side because it's got loads of musical notes on. I do like cup of that side. I'm just going to fold this over. Glue it down straight, yeah. So, yeah, how are you all doing? Obviously, it's the same day for me, so if I forgot to ask, I do apologize. Are you doing anything nice? Is the weather good by you? I'm sitting down and enjoying a cuppa. <laughs> Done all your daily chores. Okay. Cut that little bit straight of glare, that would help. And just a crown there. She's 
said. Okay. To there a minute and then I'm going to bring that back here I'm just going to snip this bit off because we're going to create a full size pocket on the back as well she says Okay, so we're just going to dust around the edge. It's all right, just making sure I've got it around the right way. <laughs> it's like, up. Oh. paper to decorate the inside so I'm gonna do is make sure I've got the right way that's the back that's the front get some glue on We'll do it this way. <laughs> Then I'll snip that side. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. So there's that bit. So all we're going to do is do our bit of lace. Well, I think I might actually fancy just. No, oh, it would be the wrong way round, wouldn't it? Gonna go. Oh, just put you on pause a minute. Right, paddle turned up. <laughs> Yay! So let's get that sorted. Right, okay, so I'm just gonna trim to there. Looks like I've done it enough. Yes. No, oh, wrong glue. I'm just gonna do a little dip dab. <laughs> a little bit of a dip dab. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, right, whilst that's drying, we will make up. A little dingle dangle. One of those. I 
adds a little bit of this. Should we see how it looks? One of these little flowers. That's Corey. And a bead. What should I do with my sequins? Yeah, just tip them out. <laughs> just tip them out, why not? Okay, so we're going to go that. Okay, so got our little dingle dangle ready. That's nice. I like that. Okay, so sewing machine next. Ooh. Claire's bad sewing. <laughs> Yeah, so I've ordered myself some new t-shirts for the summer, some nice long ones. Um, so they actually go past one bottom. Ooh. As you do. Go treat yourself now and again, haven't you? And plus they were really cheap. I think they were like um ten pound each. So I've treated myself to three. I've got um this colour, then I've got a raspberry and a black one. Be perfect for down the field. <laughs> In my shorts and my wellies. Okay. Okay. Right, I'm just going around it twice. Don't do that. All right. Push that back up. Why do these machines do this now and again? Come on, get back in. Behave. <laughs> Behave. Right. Okay. <laughs> Mind of its own then. Okay, just switch that off just for a second. So all I've done is I've just done around the edge in twice. And then all we're gonna do is make sure it's in place. And we're going to just glue it down that edge and down that edge and then we have a front pocket and a back pocket just go along that edge as well so cat make sure we catch it all
So then you put something like this here. I've got this little pocket there. And then obviously the pocket right there. Caught that. Right, okay. So we've done that bit. We've got our pocket there. Make sure that's nice and tidy along there. As you can see, it's not. And that would drive me absolutely potty. So I'm just going to trim and tidy it up. There we go. And then put our dingle dangle on. says like so <laughs> just do it old yeah you know, that bit and then we're gonna do our tag just need to make sure it's gonna fit in and I don't want it that height so I'm just gonna trim that down to about there perfect I'm just gonna go Do the edging and then we're gonna get a pretty little thing to put on the front Trying to think where I have my bit of paper then. Okay, so we just dust around here. And then we're going to do the same with our flower. And then we will get the sewing machine onto that. Done that. Bit of crazy wonky <laughs> stitching. <laughs> That's what you call crazy. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do my whole so you can get a do an eyelet on there or a reinforcer. Completely up to you. Um where have I put me strands? So I should have enough to do both of them. Thank you. 
but uh, yeah, it was, um, the tops come wrapped up in some brilliant stuff, and I went, oh, can use that. <laughs> now I think of an idea for them. I'll just show you. It's like um, it's a bit like greaseproof paper. It's, it's bizarre. It's like this, like tissue paper, but sort of grease, grease proof. It tears like tissue paper. So I thought that would make really nice pockets. You double it over and sew it. A bit like vellum. Right, where's my tag? Going off track again, Claire. Okay. It's not going to do it now, is it? It's not going to play me up. Fabulous. Just gonna trim that off there without cutting my fingers off, hopefully. Right, fantastic. So there's another one done. So I mean they look absolutely brilliant, and obviously you've got all these to do. You don't have to do them with the pocket on the front, so you could just leave it like that. Um or you could actually stick a pocket on the back just to hide it. So it's out of place, but it's such clever little ideas and extra little goodies for you to have in your journals. So like I said before, I do not claim that I have created these. I would just um, like to refresh and maybe inspire. So here's the other one. So we've got three there. And then all those there. And that is out of one cereal box. So I hope you take part and have lots of fun in doing it. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. I'm going to tidy up now. See you later. Bye.